Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to the Let's Play. Today, guys, we are looking to finish up the gym build. Uh, if you guys remember last time, we actually made a lap counter for our track around here. Um, so every time you cross this point here, a lamp right there will light up. And that basically keeps track of how many laps you have have gone up to 15. And then once you get to 15, uh, it starts to play another one bites the dust. And then, of course, you can reset it via this lever. And, yeah, then start up again uh, with the, the lap counter. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, but today, guys, we're going to work on finishing this area up. we got a few more signs and decoration stuff to put up here. Uh, so we'll do that. And also down here, we have to add some stuff to the walls. They're looking a little bit bland in here. I want to add some more decoration and a roof to this room where we have our bikes. So these are our bikes right here. <laughs> Exercise bikes. Uh, we have to obviously finish up the bathrooms because... Obviously, you don't want people to go to the restroom on the floor here. And then in the boxing room, we also have to finish this up, uh, along with some other stuff in, in areas like the uh, the aerobics room uh, and the locker room. So, yeah, just adding some little details and finishing up some rooms here today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at this boxing room. We almost got this done right now. Um, so first of all, uh, when we come in from the front or the side, we're immediately next to the... Uh, sort of second desk here. So the front desk is up in this, this region somewhere uh, above us, and this one's like the secondary desk. Um, so basically you can enroll in boxing classes here. You see they got a wrestling team uh, here, which is what this mat is, the Olympic wrestling mat. Uh, you guys will probably see this more uh, in Rio 2016 Olympics coming up soon, which I'm pretty excited for. Uh, although they still apparently have a lot of work to do for the Olympics to uh, to get prepared, but yeah, this is that actual colors of the Olympic wrestling mat. So you have a big orange circle in the center. Uh, and then that's followed by like a red ring. And then a blue ring is like the uh, the outer por portion. So that's a wrestling mat right there. Uh, over here we have like the boxing tournament registration. So that's what this is supposed to be. You're supposed to be able to like register for the boxing event. And you see they got the records here and stuff. Uh, so you got to... You gotta apply to uh, to join the tournament. There's age restrictions, and you have to be a gym member and enrolled in boxing class to enter. Good luck. So that's what the signs say. Uh, this is meant to just be like the front desk type of area right here. I put some extra seating around the the boxing ring itself because it's gonna be a small tournament. You know, if you have a, if you have a boxing tournament in a gym, like it's not gonna be like a stadium stadium style or anything. Uh, you just have a few seats here and there that people can uh, can join. Like you know, the parents can come and watch or whatever. Uh, so that's what we got there. Uh, let's see, we also got some padding. We got some carpet. That's what that's supposed to be around the rink in case somebody gets a little rough, throws somebody out or something. <laughs> so, yeah, we got that as well. Um, of course, I mentioned the wrestling mat here. We got the punching bags here uh, along the sides. And then this here is supposed to be like that, uh, that salmon ladder that you climb up. Like those really fit, muscular guys can climb up. Um, that's what that's supposed to be with the trip wires there. So yeah, that's cool. We also got some inspirational quotes and uh, motivational posters around here. So for instance, I'm gonna get ya, Wither Boss, right there. <laughs> Everybody was kung fu fighting, Wu Tang Clan. We got the karate karate guy painting up here. Fight well, fight fair, fight hard. Zeus, probably. <laughs> so we got that one as well. <laughs> so yeah, those are the uh, the paintings we got up. Uh, right now, actually, I want to add a little bit of functionality to this room. Um, so first we're going to add the the bell. I think we're going to add the bell over here in the wall. So we'll just we'll break this. We'll put down... Just go ahead and make some buttons here. Go ahead and put down a button right here. So that's going to be the bell right there. Uh, and then we're going to also put a, a classification, a boxing classification system right here. So we're going to have a button here. Button right there. And then I want to have, I don't have any on me, but I want to put three redstone lamps here. Do I have any redstone lamps in here? No, i got to go get some redstone lamps. Uh, but we're going to have a redstone lamp uh, like here, here, and here. And this is going to determine if you're a lightweight, heavyweight, uh, lightweight, middleweight, or heavyweight. So that's what we're going to do right now. All right, so we got our redstone testing for our lightweight, middleweight, and heavyweight uh, measurement. So basically you walk up, hit this button, and apparently... I'm a lightweight, <laughs> as you can see. But yeah, let's keep testing, see if we can keep training. You know, we'll, we'll punch a little bit. There we go, training, training, and still lightweight. Dang it, come on now. Come on, all right, hit a few more punches in there. There we go, making our way up to middleweight. Can I, can I get a heavyweight? Can I get a heavyweight? Look at this, jump, jump hitting, critical hitting. Come on, heavyweight, come on. There we go, heavyweight, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> nice, so you can see 
Uh, it's sort of random what um, designation you get here, uh, whether you're a, ra you're a lightweight, a heavyweight, or a middleweight. There we go, lightweight again. There's middleweight. There's heavyweight. So yeah, it's uh, it's random how much, uh, what what sort of designation you get, but it's still kind of a cool thing to have. Uh, and yeah, obviously these are all named lightweight, middleweight, heavyweight, which you guys have seen. Uh, and yeah, if I just keep hitting this, you'll see some of the different uh, configurations here. Um, so yeah, kind of a cool thing. So let me show you guys exactly how this works uh, and how it differentiates between the lightweight, middleweight, and your heavyweight class. So if we go ahead and break in here, see a little bit of redstone back here. Essentially this boils down to a dropper randomizer. And so we have uh, 40 stackable items in this dropper and we got uh, three items in this dropper, one stackable, one stackable to 16, and one non-stackable. And depending on which one of these three is output from this dropper into this one, uh, that determines the signal strength output from this comparator, which is currently being locked. So let me just show you an example. So if I get rid of this, uh, you see by default, uh, the signal strength is one, because you're always going to have at least one, uh, one lamp active. That's like the lowest lightweight category. Um, if we then get the, the button uh, output from this dispenser over to here, uh, that'll make 41 items, and it'll stay at one signal strength. So nothing really happens if, if, one, if this button moves over. Uh, if the sign moves over, though, the sign moves over here, like that, signal strength has now bumped up to two right here, and we got two lamps that are now activated. And then if we got, instead of the sign we had a non-stackable item, for instance this sword, that'll output three lamps. You saw the third one there come on, so we got three lamps active now. So that's basically how it works. And the only other sort of thing I did was um, make this little circuit here, which basically locks it. And since, uh, yeah, before it shoots the item back from, uh, from this dropper, uh, before it shoots it back into, from this dropper to this one, um, it basically sends a signal through here first and unlocks the comparator so it reads the output from the dropper and then outputs it to the, to the decoder. So that's basically how it works. It's pretty pretty neat system, pretty basic system, but uh, yeah, it gets, gets the job done. It's kind of a cool thing. Kind of a cool thing. <laughs> so anyway, that's that. I also added this little bell system over here. See, it says bell. Hit this. So you guys can probably figure out that's torch burnout bell, but um... Yeah. Kind of cool. So that's the bell for the boxing room. And I think that's all the functionality I'm going to put in here for now, guys. Uh, as always, if you have any other suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. But I think this room is pretty much done. Alright, guys. So after a few hours of detail work, we are now done with the gym. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys on a complete tour of the gym. Um, so yeah, this will be a refresher if you guys have seen every episode. Uh, if not, you're in for a treat. Uh, and yeah, I'll show you all the details that I remember because I, uh, those of you guys who have been following the series for a while know that I am a stickler for details and I put a lot in every build. So let's go ahead and get on in here. Um, so first of all, yeah, this is the entrance area here. Um, you can see we have like a little area where you can sit down, uh, wait for friends, etc, etc here. Uh, we have the entrance or the, uh, the welcome desk right here. Uh, see, the gym fees, six months is 25 emeralds, one year is 40 emeralds. Got a nice painting up there. Uh, we have a warning that says, illegal doping equals lifetime ban. So, yeah, don't uh, inject with the uh, the tipped arrows there. Uh, yeah, signs, welcome to Zerzera Gym. Ask for chalk and or talcum powder if needed. We got a little mushroom here. Um, dumbbell safety. Make sure you uh, utilize dumbbell safety. Here we have the cash register with all the emeralds. We got a gym membership list, talcum powder, nether chalk, chalk, uh, and then a banned substance of some type, and then extra weights in case, you know, somebody breaks a weight or something out there. And of course, these are extra dumbbells right here. These anvils are supposed to be extra dumbbells. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Nice little uh, front desk area. We also got the flowers now outside, if you didn't notice. So yeah, a little bit of landscaping on the outside. On uh, here, we got some vitamin water, we got, uh, you know, all sorts of potions, swiftness, leaping, retro sports drinks, energy drinks. Uh, we got melons, melons in here, uh, apples in this one. So that's where you get your snacks, as you can see from the banners. 
up here we got the track. This track goes all the way around the cardio area, which is right here to our right. Uh, we have our lap counter right here, which counts a lap every time you cross this point. You can see the, the lamps light up. And then if you go around this track 15 times, let me just uh, demonstrate this here by just moving back and forth for a moment. You can see it counts your laps all the way up to 15. And then when you finally reach 15, plays another one bites the dust, which is kind of cool. Or as I like to call it, a little more redstone dust. So yeah, that is what the lap counter does. Then to reset it, just flick down this lever and yeah, it resets your lap count. There we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, and now let's see what else we got. We got the working treadmill. So the red one is the fast one. So hit this. See that the treadmill begins to move. You get on here. And yeah, the idea is you run forward here. It's a little bit noisy, but uh, yeah, that's that one right there. Turn that off by flicking the lever down. And the green one does the same thing. It's a little bit slower though. So you can see here, it's moving there. You can see some wool and some coal blocks as part of the moving track. So those are the treadmills, the working tread, quote unquote working treadmills. Uh, over here we have Usain Bolt's shoes. I added that as a little detail. Uh, we've got the jump challenge here. You gotta jump all the way up on these parkour rods. Let's see if I can do this again for a second time. Nope, I can't, knew it, knew it. But yeah, you make all the way up this jump challenge uh, so you go from here to there to there to there to there and then there's no block up there you can hit once you make it up there uh, heading back this way now we got a jump challenge so we run up like this and you gotta whoops <laughs> glitched in there uh, you gotta basically yeah try to reach your maximum height on these trap doors so I got I got three there looks like yeah let's see if I can get a good one here Nope, I can't. Zero. Dag nabbit. I was straight fire, but now I'm not. There we go. Straight fire right there. Straight fire. Fifth level. That's the highest you can get right there. Very nice. So that is the little uh, little high jump thing we got going on. Uh, I added a stopwatch right here, of course. Stopwatch, and then this is supposed to be like a banner with a uh, dumbbell. So it's supposed to be like a dumbbell banner, because we are in a gym. Here we got the ladder climb, wall climb. You can pick some different routes to uh, to climb up to the to the roof here, and you can look over the gym. It has a nice little little view. Uh, right here we have the steppers. Both these are steppers. You walk straight up. You walk down. Come back over it. Walk straight up. Walk down. So both those are steppers. Uh, here of course we have our weights. Uh, we have some talcum powder here available to uh, help you grip the weight better. Over here we got the dumbbells. Uh, we got dumbbells ranging from 5 to 20 pounds. Let's see how heavy these things are. Oh yeah, yeah, that's heavy. That, that's definitely, definitely seems to be around approximately 20 pounds. No doubt about it. Let's get one of the lighter ones. And so you see, the anvils do indeed drop when you, uh, yeah, when you step on the pressure plates, which is kind of cool. Kind of a cool thing. Yeah, those, those are pretty heavy. Those are pretty heavy, I gotta say. There we go. So those are our dumbbells, and we have a mini dumbbell here in case you're the five pounds too much for you. You got the mini version to go right there. So yeah, that's that's that. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Over here, we got our rowing machine. Basically, this works. You hop in, hit the button, you row, you row, you row, you row, you row your boat, and then you get popped out automatically. And so yeah, you can only stay in there for a couple of seconds before it automatically kicks you out. And you can use either one of these. There's two of them, so. Yeah, that's the row machine. Uh, here we have the, the pull-up bars. Jumping right here. Pull-up bars. Easy. And then this is the advanced version right here. So you gotta really you gotta really time it right here. Let's see if we can get up. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Whew, whew, whew. Yeah. Pull-up bars right there. Very nice. Uh, and then of course we have you know some fighting paintings. We got some paintings scattered about uh, around here, I think. Yeah, I think that's everything here. Of course, we got the crafting tables. Uh, that's everything on the first level. Pretty sure. Yeah, fighting painting, obviously. And we have the fighting fighting painting here because down below here, as you can see, we got a boxing area. 
Uh, and also a sauna, aerobics room, and then the tracks back up that way. So we got little directions. We got a nice little flowered pot. Some paintings on the way down here. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the yoga slash aerobics room first. So there we go. Uh, so this is the aerobics room right here. Um, everything here, this is supposed to be like a mirror, this glass here. Uh, it's supposed to be like a mirror. Also, I added the ability to um, play the song, which I did not actually showcase here. Let's go back up and I'll showcase that. Uh, so this, from the front desk here, you can actually play a song. So you can play the song Eye of the Tiger, or at least the intro to it. There you go. And so you can hear Eye of the Tiger as you're working out. So that's pretty cool. So that's the ability you have at the front desk. And then you flick it and it'll go off after a minute here. But you can also now play it from the aerobics room or the yoga room, however you want to think of it. Uh, just by flicking this lever. There you go. We're a little bit closer to the note blocks here. So you can hear it a little bit better. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Just gonna go ahead and eat something here. Uh, so yeah, here's the yoga room. Currently it's set up for yoga, but uh, we have the ability to, yeah, grab these steps and change it to an aerobics room whenever we want. So we got our yoga mats down here. We got the instructor up here. Um, and yeah, everything is kind of uh, sort of spelled out here. So we got the aerobic steps, like I said, the medicine balls right here. Um, these are just like, uh, if somebody wants to observe a class, they can sit down here. Uh, you know, you tie your shoes on some chairs, whatever, whatever. Uh, also, when you step on this, you see that the door over there opens and closes almost at the same time. So that's kind of cool, like when you when you walk in here. There you go, door opens. So, yeah, kind of cool that when this door is open, that door is also open. Unless, of course, you open it manually like that. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we also have a little more redstone dust, some music discs you can play in in the uh, aerobics room because you know you gotta you gotta work out with uh, with uh, good music. So you know we got a little more redstone dust right there, aerobics class mixtape mixtape right there, and then peaceful yoga music. So yeah, that is what we got in terms of the music there. Uh, in the hallway again, we got you know like a nice little painting stuff like this, uh, boxing wrestling room. Yeah, I wanted to show you guys some new stuff in here. So, yeah, you guys have seen most of this this episode, so I won't go over this too much, but yeah, we got uh, the wrestling mat right here, we got the punching bags right here, heavyweight, middleweight, and lightweight, um, yeah, classification, depending on how hard you punch, right here. So this can go anywhere from 3 to 2 to 1, and for some reason it's still on 3, still on 3, <laughs> still on 3, come on, give me something other than 3, dear God. I'm, I'm too beastly for it. I'm too beastly for it. Always a heavyweight. Up oh, there we go. Middleweight. <laughs> Middleweight. Back to heavyweight. Nice. Okay. So that's that. Uh, we got uh, the bell right here. The bell for the ring. That indicates when you uh, switch your, your round here. When you're fighting in the boxing ring. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we also got a spit bucket. Spit bucket now for the boxers. Uh, because, yeah. You get hit in the mouth. You gotta spit. A lot, of, lot, of, lot of, you know, a lot of spit, a lot of blood in boxing, so you gotta have a spit bucket. Um, let's see, here we got uh, some more chalk. So we got chalk, you know, you wanna put chalk on your hands before you go boxing or wrestling uh, to get better grip and stuff, so we got that. Um, also, I made this book here, and this is what I was, this, uh, this actually has a lot of you guys in it, a lot of you viewers. Um, so this is the Jim Records book. So, uh, if any of you guys left comments during the, the course of the gym, making the gym, um, there's a high probability, at least I hope, I think, probably, that uh, you're in here. So, go ahead and check it and pause the video, see if your name's in here. Here are the wrestling medalists right here. Uh, boxing classes are now open. Registration is May 1st, June 15th. These are the people who have already signed up right here, even though it's not quite May 1st. They got early registration, apparently. Uh, more people who have signed up for boxing registration. So, again, these are all viewers here uh, who left a comment during the gym, uh, during the building of the gym. So, thank you, viewers, for that. Uh, this is preliminary wrestling tournament sign-up. So, more people here. 
Uh, and then we got some records. So we got, you know, the record weight lift, the bench press, squat press, deadlift, uh, the trap track uh, record for 15 laps, most consecutive pull-ups, 5,000. <laughs> and I just sort of went crazy here after a while. Longest time spent in bathroom as percentage of total time in the gym, <laughs> 33%. <laughs> uh, longest time set in sauna consecutively, 44 days. Come on now. Uh, most snacks eaten in one gym session. Most times listened to a little more Redstone Dust consecutively. 122 before Gym Patreon was kicked from the property. <laughs> nice. Most mobs inside the gym. So yeah, you guys can look at this. And then we have the pool records, because the pool is the next thing we're going to build. Uh, and then, yeah, gym was financed by donations from other local businesses, such as ZM ZAMR, The Cool Breeze. Emerald Isle contributed, Seafood Restaurant contributed. And then other villagers like the butcher, glass blower, the shepherd, etc., contributed as well. And yeah, thank you, Zero Zero Management. Okay, so you guys got that. Um, so yeah, that's the gym record book. And yeah, congrats to those viewers who made it in there. I just went through the episodes and randomly picked picked viewers. So uh, please do not be upset if you're not in the uh, the gym records book, because there were a lot of comments, and I do appreciate that. Um, so then we we'll come out here. Uh, we got the the banners up. Bathroom banners. This is men's bathroom and women's bathroom. Um, and in case you guys want to know how to craft these, uh, I do indeed have a uh, one of the, one of the future episode or one of the uh, the past episodes. I did craft these on camera, I believe. But they're pretty useful. I, I really like them. I like the way they look. And yeah, I haven't really seen anything quite like them. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Of course, we got the toilets automatically full or automatically fill for you. And then they automatically flush as you leave. Except it's supposed to be the opposite way. Why you do this to toilet? Come on now. Dang it. There. Now it works. It works again. <laughs> you can't you can't mess up the step. You gotta you gotta make sure it yeah stays in line. So there we go. Automatically flushes. Yep, there we go. And then women's bathroom. Same thing. Automatic toilet. Fills up and flushes. So nice. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, down the hallway here, we have a nice little bench here. The Struggle is Real by CubFan135. Beautiful painting. Beautiful painting by myself. Um, yeah, here we have the cycling room. I like the view here into the cycling room, I gotta say. I like how you can see in there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So in the cycling room, we uh, we put this uh, this chainmail armor as like the uh, the weighted, um, you know, like a, like a weighted uh, chest plate that you can use to uh, increase the intensity of your workout. Same with the, the helmet, and pants, and the shoes. Uh, the bikes, I actually moved the the armor stands here. That's supposed to be like the seat of the bike. I moved the orientation of those 90 degrees, so it looks more like a bike now, I think. So thank you guys who suggested that in the comments. Uh, we also added a motivational poster here and a TV. So this is supposed to be like a TV you can watch while you're cycling, basically. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Uh, we also got some seating here. Let's go over here to the locker room. Locker room. Uh, now, a lock, this locker room I added quite a bit, actually. Um, we added some, some stuff here to the bench. Uh, we added a lot of details inside the lockers. So in here, you know, we got, we got drugs. Oh, my God, drugs, guys. Shh. Don't tell anyone. Used towel, nether chalk, etc. Another used towel here. Let's see what this one has. Nothing. That one is empty. Okay. <laughs> this one... What we got in here? We got rotten protein bar in that one. This one. Another rotten protein bar and a used towel. So there's a couple different things we got in each one of these. Oh my god, more drugs, guys. This place is like drug central. Man, this is craziness. Alright, what do we got in here? What do we got in here? Pure sugar energy drink. Okay, that, that's that's legit. That's legit. What in, what's in here? Raw egg. Somebody's training hard. We got chalk and we got empty sports drink. So there's a lot of little details in here. I'm not going to go through every one of these, but... Um, yeah, more empty sports drinks in here. We got empty sports drinks. Oh my god, don't look, don't look, guys. Don't do drugs. Seriously, though. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's the, lo that's the locker room. Uh, there's some more stuff in here I didn't show. Like some uh, performance-enhancing creams. Some There's probably some other stuff I've already forgotten, honestly. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of details in there. Um, here we have the showers. So you turn these showers on like this. And they push everything toward the the drain here, as you can see. We got some dirt, of course, in the drains. All these work uh, exactly the same here. So yeah, all the all the water flows toward the drains. Very nice, and they all have a little bit of dirt in them, I think. Custodial staff needs to step it up a little bit. 
All right, there we go. So we also have a towel, towel drop here. So we got some used towels in there. Very good, very good. I think that's everything in here. Nice little painting over there. All right, okay, cool. Then we have the sauna room. Uh, hot and humid, so use caution in here. Uh, I also added this door here, and yeah, you see the, the fire warns you. It's a little warm in here. It's a little warm in here. Whew. So, yeah. Quite warm in the sauna room. We got all this steam coming off the floor, you can see. We got our, our water levels over here. We can regulate these with some bottles and buckets. Uh, and speaking of water bottles, we got a nice little refreshing water bottle in the sauna. In case you're done working out, you know, you want to hydrate, so you got some water bottles in there you can you can uh, use. And I think that's pretty much it. we got some nice little plants in here. It's a nice nice atmosphere, you know. But uh, you don't want to stay in here more than uh, more than about 10 minutes or so. That one guy who stayed in for 44 days is a legend. He's, yeah, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't mess with him. But, um, yeah, that's, that's the whole bottom part, I think. I think I showed everything, perhaps. I hope so. Uh, and then this thing is going to go out to where our pool will eventually be, right over here. So guys, that is the gym build in its entirety. Let me just sort of uh, run around the outside so you guys can see what it looks like from the outside. I think I did pretty well with the uh, the roof and everything. It looks looks pretty decent. Uh, I like the the sort of quartz inset against the dark the dark oak wood. Um, and yeah, I like the the giant windows back here so you can look out of the, the gym and also look into the gym from outside. You can see the skyline if you look out from inside, which is cool. Uh, of course, the pool is going to be back here. We'll probably work on this during the live stream on Saturday. I uh, live stream on twitch.tv slash cubfan135, for those of you guys interested in that. Um, so yeah, looking, looking sweet, looking sweet. Um, and then we come around the side here and get stuck in a cobweb. Dear God, come on now. There we go, made it out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, here's what it looks like from over here. You can look in. Nice big windows everywhere. So yeah, guys, that is the gym build, the inside of the gym at least, done. Uh, like I said, we still have the pool to go, but uh, we'll have to do that during the live stream. And so I want to say thank you guys so much for watching and for all the great suggestions. Please do keep them coming. And once again, thank you so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.